Well, welcome to Make Money Online with journals, mini books, and more. And this is a micro lesson. And I am Majesty Ali Nicole Wow. Looking forward to bringing this uh, micro lesson to you uh, during this time. Um, really excited about this because anytime we're talking about the online space, it is full of opportunities. Uh, for individuals to make an impact and an income. And I like being able to share simple ways that individuals can get started with this, whether they are full on entrepreneurs or just wanting to maybe have something as they're doing kind of part time, or maybe just leaning into just making money online and this type of experience, right? Well, I just want to start off by talking about uh, the journaling aspect, and I've been an avid journaler uh, since uh, 2007, and I've actually published over 300 um, intentional journals, and they're all on Amazon, and I want to talk a little bit about that and then also the mini books, because in combination with the journal style uh, publications. It's a lot of mini books that I have uh, published. And there are just other ways that you can start to make money um, using these initiatives. And I'll talk a little bit more about that. Now, a platform that I've been using over the years is Kindle Direct Publishing, which is a print-on-demand company of Amazon. And it's free to use this platform. And you can be published within 24 to 72 hours and you don't actually need an ISBN. They provide free ISBNs and book cover templates, um, if I didn't mention that. And I've been using this, like I said, for years and producing low to medium uh, types of content format style types of publications. Now, one of the things we know is that reading will always be fundamental. So you definitely um, are in the game of making money anytime you can provide publications in what better formats than short form publications where people aren't being inundated with so much information. They're taking in um, a certain amount and then they can move on to a next publication in the series if you have one. Now, journaling is something that is going to be a forever type of experience and more and more people are growing fond of it, including more males in terms of being able to journal and not just from um, an emotional brain dump and dear diary type of experience, but being more intentional. And that's primarily what I've done in terms of producing intentional journals. So let me talk a little bit about what intentional journals are. They are topical focused journals where it is about a specific focus and people use that specific sacred space for that initiative um, versus with just a traditional journal, it's just you can put any and everything in there. The intentional aspect brings more power and clarity and focus to, like I said, a particular initiative um, or topic. You want to have both because I do have both, okay? And again, you can produce those um, through Kindle Direct Publishing and have those up on Amazon within 24 to 72 hours, right? Now, mini books, mini books are 30 to 70 pages and they're kind of micro messenger books. You can also do these as journals too, um, tip books, how-to books, uh, Q&A types of publications, journal prompts types of publications, affirmations. You can do all these. The journals and the mini books, they really kind of can work together like a hand and glove because you can produce a journal version for a topic and then the mini book for the topic and it can be a companion and still actually still have journal pages or planner pages or action pages within the mini book. Um, you can just make them interactive, so to speak. And so again, using Kindle Direct Publishing that is a way to be able to um, produce the content fairly easily and quickly and start making money online, all right? Now, I want to talk about how these journals and mini books also can lead into other initiatives. So let's say that you are a coach, or you provide some type of um, online service. You could be a consultant or so, um, or have different products. You can lead people into your next levels using these journals and these mini books. 
So again, if you're a coach and you have a coaching program, uh, you're thinking about getting started, then definitely using publications to help lead into the bigger initiative. Um, those publications establish credibility for you. And also too, um, again, you just use it as a lead in. So those are ways that you can start to use the journals and mini books to start positioning them. Now, I want to also talk about digital products and using a platform called Gumroad to upload your digital products to. But a great um, platform to use to actually produce the products is just using a Zoom conference line and using the audio and the video or so, both are one. Um, and those are simple products that you can create and then upload them to the platform called Gumroad then you can have a digital product and be able to sell that. And guess what? Also use your journals and mini books um, in companion, so to speak, with your digital product. You've got a full-fledged type of experience for an individual, whether you want to call it a course or however. These can be different levels. And there's so much more you know, that you can do. But being able to use these to position yourself online because you have to have products. If you're going to make money online, you have to have products and services, right? And it's best to have both. You, you know, you don't want to just have one or the other in this digital space, competitive digital market. You want to make sure that you have your digital um, <laughs> residency or real estate, so to speak, with having publications and also having um, digital products, right? And then, like I said, being able to then leverage these to lead into different initiatives, whether it's coaching, consulting, speaking, masterminds or so, that's the so much more. When you can take your journals and take your mini books. And another thing I want to bring up is that these journals and mini books can lead into bigger book projects, right? So you don't have to wait until you write your big book. You can produce chapters, or so, or um, just create space for a particular concept that's in the book. And you can take your time to write your bigger book, but produce the mini books or a series of the books that lead into the bigger books, right? And then also the platform Gumroad has a component for audio books as well. Um, they have pot, you can podcast um, with that particular platform. They have membership uh, community building, newsletters, all these different things. You can build out a full-fledged empire just using Gumroad alone, just using Gumroad alone, but at least get started with um, simply creating your journals. And it's easy to create a journal. You can do that in less than an hour. If you want to make it affirmations, you can choose some affirmations and put them throughout the publication. Um, or if you want to use Canva, so to speak, to produce uh, your journal pages or so, you can do that, all right? Or you can do, as I mentioned, create intentional journals where it is about a specific topic and maybe you are providing an inspirational introduction or you are providing tips or so. And again, same with the mini books. But again, these are opportunities for you to be making money online and then see what more can come from this. So I hope that this micro lesson has been beneficial. I'm going to encourage you to take a weekend to brainstorm um, how you can produce, uh, what levels of content that you want to produce. I've given you the how in terms of uh, where you need to um, position these, the platforms that you need to use. Um, but just think about easy projects that you can come up with. Um, if you get stuck, one of the things that you can do is if you have a blog, repurpose some of that content and create a publication. Um, if you have social media posts uh, that were inspiring or so, then see how you can take that content and maybe expand it um, to create a mini book or to create an intentional journal around that focus and let people then kind of journal about that particular experience. So variety of different ways. The thing is, is that I mentioned the online space is full of opportunities for impact and income. And you want to make sure that you are a contender in the game of all of these different opportunities. 
So again, take yourself a weekend to brainstorm and then give yourself at least 30 days to start producing um, products so that you can get yourself you know, set up online. I mentioned using Gumroad to really get started and to flesh it out, but there are other platforms that you can show up on. Um, you can create a Facebook page to market your journals and mini books. You can definitely use a platform like tumblr.com to do microblogging. And also Blogspot is another one I highly recommend. And then also just getting on different social media platforms, get on Medium and LinkedIn and be able to start sharing with individuals. Hey, yes, I'm producing publications and I have a community here and put yourself out there. But that's how you get started with making money online, uh, using journals and mini books and so much more. So again, I hope this has been beneficial to you. And I hope to have you join me for more trainings of this nature in the near future. Take care.